Hello everyone and welcome to a... It's Wednesday morning now for me. And for another day of playing Dark Souls. So, differences that you may notice from last episode. I have no souls and I've lost my ember. That's because I've been trying to get this item for quite a while now. I finally made it over here. And in the process I died uh, twice. Once I fell down and died. And then in my attempt to get my souls back, I had to get back to time. Man, and he fucked me up, so I lost all the souls. But, you know, there are any souls at the end of the day. So let's see what we got. Firekeeper stuff. Oh, so this is a firekeeper. I bet she was like in that coffin and she fell out. But in my effort... Well, there we go, I'm dead again. <laughs> I should have healed up first. But in this effort, I have worked out that I can kill Katana Man now. Because I've pretty much killed him. I just got trapped and couldn't dodge roll. And like in between the door and the wall. So he trapped me in a little fucking corner and I couldn't avoid him. I can kill him, and I have actually killed him in my off-camera playthrough. I'm playing a sorcerer, in case you're interested. And I just killed the first boss. Uh, well, the first boss that isn't part of the tutorial in the game. So, that was pretty fun. I made him look as ugly as I could by turning all the sliders up. It was quite funny. Also, I went looking at our equipment, and we can use this now. Have a better shield. Does this make us fat roll? Yeah, we're going to need some more equipment load. Uh, for now, take off the helmet. Are we still fat rolling? Uh, nah, that's okay. It's a bit of a fat roll, but it's going to work for me. It's fast enough that I can live with it. So now we've got a new shield. That looks pretty dang shield. And we can see my long purple anime hair. Ah, shit, that was bad timing. It's okay, I've got six after this flash, so I can do this all day. Don't want to lose the items, so careful not to push them off the edge, because I know what he drops now. Come on, bitch. Fight me. No! That's the exact corner I got trapped in last time! I've died in that one little corner twice. God damn it. We can kill this guy. We will kill this guy. Oh, he has, he has been a bane in my life for too many episodes. And now he shall die. Oh god, what is this? What the fuck has happened? I think the game has just crashed. Yep, I can't do anything. I don't even know if the recording is working, but I'm just gonna keep talking. Game, hello. The game has crashed. That is pretty fucking good. We're after a flying start today. And we're back! My game crashed, amazingly. And then it told me off. It was like, you know you need to exit your game correctly so you don't need to try something. But it crashed! I didn't have a choice. It's not fair. Don't do that to me. Also, my loading, my loading times are so good compared to other people. I was <laughs> watching some videos on YouTube of them. Um, so I'm watching a couple of the Let's Plays at the same time. I'm not not advancing it further than I am, but that, that loading time is so long. I'm like, oh yeah, my loading times are like a thing. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Whoa! Whoa! Shall we um, do one of these? No, one of these. Oh yes, just twice. There you go. That's what I think of your Estus. <laughs> Never Estus again. Right then. Alright, we can kill this guy. I know we can. I have the utmost faith in my abilities of murdering the Dark Man. If I can get a backstab off, that's going to really help. Shit. Oh. I'd rather fight him over, fight him over here. It's a lot more open. Just use all my Esther spice if I need to. Ho ho! Okay, let's get my stamina up. Esther. Okay, then we chop his fucking ass up. Come on, old man. Oh, 
and dead. Your time in this world is no more, you fat sucker. Yay, got his gear. Whoop, 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 whoop. And we fell down in here. Awesome. Fucking finally killed that guy, and I think that finishes up Fire Link Shrine, unless an area is going to open up a bit later. But for now, there is a mountain spazzing out in the top right corner of the screen right now. Oh, it stopped spazzing. It was ha oh, there it goes. It's having a seizure again. <laughs> that mountain doesn't know <laughs> what it wants to be. Oh, yeah, I think that's Fire Link Shrine fully explored now. So that's like two areas we fully explored. The undead. Uh, settlement, which we were in last few episodes in this area. Woo! We're doing a bang up job. Uh, how do I get back in? <laughs> Although I feel like there might be more to Fire Link Shrine than meets the eye, if you get what, I, get what I'm looking at there. <laughs> I'm hoping we can go there. I really am. That's probably where the big lord is in there. Right then. Wee! Let's have a look. I haven't spoken to this guy in a while. I just want to see if he has any more dialogue. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig, then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep, and they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads, if you've the stones for a minute. <laughs> you haven't given up. You okay. Oh, heavenly gem. <laughs> They are sworn by wolf's blood to contain oh, he's still got the abyss. Yeah, I didn't realize. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first joyous bunch. Gaining admission to the legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission to the leap. So it looks like we're going after Aldrich first, but I sounds of that because we're currently taking the path to the bottom of the dead settlement as we talk, so. Fuck, looks like he's going to be the first one we're fighting. <laughs> yeah, we're on the road of sacrifices going to the Cathedral of Deep, probably, so. This is going to be fucking great. So it looks like we're heading to the first, probably hard boss. Because <laughs> the three bosses we fought up to now have been pretty easy. They haven't been too or too difficult, so but you never know. Really again? Oh goodness me! Yeah, I also played a game about it crashing, and I don't know why it's crashing. That is like twice now it's crashed when we've gone to a bonfire and moved straight away, so maybe that's the issue, maybe it's not. We weren't having this issue yesterday. I wonder if we get down there at some point. Who's that? Ooh, new enemy. Okay. Let's see what his attacks are. Right. Okay, now he has wings. And he's inside. Oh, right, so he transforms into having wings. So ideally, we can kill him before he gets to that point. Life would be a bit easier, probably. 
What's a randomly pointless pathway? <laughs> yeah, that is quite a strange path. I still hear the whisperings from that cathedral. Okay, so we could do a plunging attack on this guy. Dealing with him. Shriveling stone. Lovely. I do love some shriveling stones. Uh, any items I'm missing? That is a sheer drop. I can sort of see the towering cathedral over there. Oh, we're going for the, over there. There's a lot more enemies. There's a little pathway down there as well. Let's go up there. Is this a trap? The soul of an unknown traveller. Hmm, okay. That is a guy with a stick there. So we can get around. A message. Let there be a plunging attack. Yep. Plunging attack. I can see the ground down there. What's this? Be wary of message. Okay. Huh. There's an item all the way over there. Seems to be a very bit of a weird little section. Maybe it's just to like, look, there's an item over there you can get at some point. Or was this guy going to ambush us when we walk past? Okay, so we've got two here and one there. Can we sneak? Sneak by them, deal with this guy, and then deal with them. No transforming. These guys have scythes. That was stamina. Here he comes. Ah, okay, these guys aren't that difficult to deal with. At least I'm not transforming into weird rat demon monster things. Let's come down. Okay, this is a one way drop. Don't like it. I'm going to come back for this. <laughs> Not sure I trust that. I wanna, there's enemies on bridges above and see what leads around this way, shall we, for us? Oh, okay. That doesn't really help, so it looks like we're going to have to probably get ourselves killed. It's nice of you, game. Nice of you pushing me into this place I don't want to be. Could have put me in a happy place full of joy. Yeah, that seems like a drop of doom. Oh no! Not another one! This one's got a giant fucking machete! I've only just been able to kill one of these! Oh, what is that? What is it doing? You just threw a fucking mud bomb at me. <gasps> Dude, it's trying to kick me. Stop trying to throw mud bombs at me. Oh, oh! What a dodge roll! What a dodge roll! We're out of dodge rolls. <laughs> oh, that did no damage, thankfully. Dodge roll. Okay, watch out for this guy as he likes to kick. <gasps> My face! What even was that attack? What even was that? That wasn't a backstab, he just fucking smashed my face in! That wasn't a parry or anything, because it didn't attack! <gasps> oh my god! He just smashed my face in! Okay. Well then. That guy certainly is um, a little bit too strong for me. No transforming for you. Ah! I forgot about you. Dead? It's dead. Shriveling stone for the second time. Right, deal with Mr. Hey, there's a cave there I didn't notice. They transform, they transform. We don't want this guy. This guy looks dangerous as fuck. 
These guys are like second priority. Ah, we can. Okay, Mr. Katana Man. Attempt number. Well, this isn't Mr. Katana Man anymore, is it? This is Mr. I don't even know, man. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a white right knobhead. Look at him over there. Come on, you fucking dickhead. Oh, dodge road. Ha 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 ha! I kicked that fucker. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh. It's okay, we can use all the extra as fast as we want. Got him. Ha ha ha. Can I have your weapon now? Butch this knife. That seems like a pretty cool weapon. I'm not going to use it though, because I prefer straight swords and weapons I can swing quickly. Brigand Axe. Hmm. Okay. Ah, Brigand Hood, Armor, Gauntlets, and Trousers. Fabulous. Pretty dark down here. Twin Daggers. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Uh, inventory. Let's have a look at what we got here. Twin Daggers. Is that like one? Or is that two? Dagger paired slash thrust. Oh, that seems really interesting. A nice axe. That's probably better than that axe. Yeah, but quite a bit. Seems like the next axe up. <laughs> axe up. I have got a sword I want to swap to. But I need more dexterity. And for that I need souls. And for that I need to not lose 9,000 souls. Falling from a great height and being murdered by a guard. Dana. But that's not the point. Hey, where of it? Hmm. Now, is that a statue or is that a fat guy? Can't tell. You, you don't, don't play dead, mate. I've been playing Dark Souls so long that playing dead no longer works. And it works for new players. Titanite Shard. Oh, I like how we can see the tower from down. And that looks like it just loops back in case that guy fucked you up and you want to go back to the bonfire. But I don't. I'm good. As long as there's no boss, like, straight ahead. I don't think there'll be a boss, but I'm not sure, because that last boss was quite optional. Hidden path ahead. Oh, so there is. That was a shitty dodge. <laughs> I went for the jump there and then fucked up the jump completely and I'm pretty sure as I was falling I saw a better way to get there, but oh well. It will take me a couple of seconds to get back. Uh, so this episode is 19 minutes, so we've got another 11 minutes in this episode. Ha <laughs> Then we plunge this guy. You're dead, so stay dead. And then we go for Guy with Staff, because he looks to be the most dangerous enemy here. Also, it looks like he's trying to transform, and he already looks transformed, so I don't want to see what his transformation is. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah. Fire seems to be pretty effective on these dickheads. <laughs> I need to know if Katana Man respawns. That is important to know. So we'll just have a quick peek. No, he's dead for good. I'm call I'm just gonna call him all katana people, even though he had a butcher's knife, but to me it was a katana. Okay, is there a better way to get to that pathway? It looks like there is an easier way. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Whee! 
need. I really hope that was him and not some horrific demon monster monstrosity down here. Okay, so we've got a dog. Good doggy. Whoa, bad doggy. Yeah, there we go. Got Braille Divine Tome of Card. Card? Came? Card? Come? Card? What is this? Learn High Miracles of Karim. Uh, uh, Shut up, Minfo. A sacred Braille Tome from Karim. Or Karm? Or Kame? I don't even know. Filled with advanced miracles. Give to, story give to a storyteller to learn advanced Karim miracles. In a way of white, there is a tradition of place of great faith in the worlds of blind and Braille. Tomes are not usual. Oh, that's pretty cool. With user cell, grave, and tower key. Don't quite know what a dark sigil is. Maybe use that. That's all good then. Oh shit, there's a guy down here. Now getting free mass shield, bitch. What's this? Morn's ring? We'll look at that later. Oh, there's another dude down here now. Fucking hell, party down here. You were not invited, mate. Uh, he's aggroed, so that's something I should definitely watch out for. And uh, this is going to loop me back here. I actually like that hidden pathway. Okay, it is a brick wall. That's good to know. I like that hidden pathway because it gives me a nice way of dealing with you. Keep that in mind for next time. Also, this guy's coming over to have a party. You walked a long distance to get here. It's a shame you're gonna die. Because you were not invited to. Go away. Okay, going through this like old gate. Into like this. Oh, we're down below the wall. Uh, the bridge, sorry. I bet we can get up there. I just have such a good feeling because there's a dragon on it. Like facing the bridge. Storyteller's staff. Oh, that'd be a good staff for my sorceress. What sorts of row, sorry, when I come to this area, if I ever get to this area. Yeah, it almost looks like the ground was level here and then it all just fell down. But like all the, like just straight down, it just sunk, but all the trees like stayed up right. That's what it looks like. So uh, that is my critical observation. I think we're good, I think we've done this area. So let's go and have a look over here. I hear there's a bonfire, so we're safe. Oh, there's some NPCs. No, oh, this is good. There's a tree. We'll talk to them before we use a bonfire, just in case they vanish. Oh, hello. Oh, it's How a woman. I am Anri of Astora. Unkindled like you. This is Horus, a friend and travelling companion. And you too in search of the Lords of Cinder. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Baron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Okay, so she's basically just told us the areas we're going to. Oh yes, Horace. Horace. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road beyond the flooded woods, lies Baron Keep, oh. home of the undead legion. We may go off the next time. May the flame. She said, right, so she's saying below us is the Farron Woods, and apparently they're flooded, and to me, that sounds like this area is going to be. Kind of like a blight town. That just sounds atrocious and nasty. Is that the keep over there? Is that Farron Keep? Now, that looks like nothing like a keep. 
That's probably fair and key. That sound is terrifying and I don't like it and I want to go home and cry to my mum. <laughs> right, let's talk to his, her companion. No women ahead. Oh, hello. Blue sentinels. Hey, we found a covenant. Awesome. This is what you talked about. Alright, let's just see. So. We are well along the road of sacrifices. We're still on the road of sacrifices. The crucifixion, crucifixion of wood, flooded wood, barren keep, and then Vigil of the Deep. Cool. Let's have a look at the travel. Halfway Fortress. It's called Halfway Fortress. Okay, why is this? Is it, if this is supposed to be a fortress, it's a pretty shoddy one. <laughs> Alright, then let's go and continue our adventures. But I think we're going to save that for the next episode. This seems like a good time to end it. Uh, new enemies there. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.